Let's listen to a story anyway. What do we got to lose? Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. This week's film is The Mesa of Lost Women. Beats me how they got there, or what they were doing. That's the most godforsaken spot on earth. Starring Jackie Coogan, best known as The Kid from Charlie Chaplin's The Kid, and Uncle Festa in The Addams Family. Wow. Old age took a bat to that guy. Coogan is playing Dr. Aranya. That's Spanish for spider. Who is crossbreeding women with spiders. Transplanted the control substance of the insect back into the human body. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. She has the indestructibility of the insect. Nor are they indestructible. And I found I had the telepathic power to communicate with them. And they certainly don't communicate telepathically. What are you a doctor of? World's foremost organotherapist. The crossbreed only works with women because... In the insect world, the male is a puny, unimportant thing. The Doctor then vanishes completely as the film follows an escaped homicidal maniac and his hostages... Don't take another step. ...crash landing in Mexico... About 120 miles below the border. ...and trapped on top of a dangerous jungle mesa. Like an island in the sky. The story isn't made any clearer by the clumsy racial stereotyping. I could own it. Finally, the two plot lines ramble into each other to achieve a pointless conclusion. Your creations can grow a new arm or leg, but nothing can survive fire. The reason that things don't add up is simple. He ain't kidding, mister. The production ran out of money and was bought up by someone else, who then crowbarred in the entire Dr. Aranya and his spider women plotline, creating what can only be described as the least cohesive story of all time. Let's stay close together. The uh, best way is to hold each other's hand. Perhaps they thought this would be more original. After all, what other film has men coming into an isolated area to find a group of dominant women? Except, of course, the voyage to the planet of the prehistoric women. Yeah, and women of the prehistoric planet. Prehistoric women, Viking women, untamed women, wild women, the wild women of Wongo, cat women of the moon, she gods of Shark Reef, she devil island, the mysterious island of beautiful women, the island of lost women, fire maidens of outer space, queen of outer space, queen of the Amazons, Colossus and the Amazon queen, love slave of the Amazons, nude on the moon, and of course, carry on up the jungle. And the weird thing is, the men are never happy. If we are successful, I shall have a super female spider. Because to a 60s man, a world with nothing but women may be a dream. A creature that someday may control the world. But a world ruled by women? That's a nightmare. If you've got a movie you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.